are so cute. Just that. Another one. Eh. Another one. Eh. Another one. Eh. Another one. Eh. <laughs> Another one. eh. <laughs> guys welcome back to my channel and welcome to vlogmas day 8 so everybody say hi how much did you say hi <laughs> anyway so we are on our way to the cinema now we want to go and watch um frozen yes we want to watch a movie we want to watch frozen part 2 and we're going with the whole family so Hopefully the children stay and watch it. I know Cora will stay. It's Eva that I'm not really sure of. But she has her diapers and we'll get snacks there. So she's probably going to stay. So we'll do a mini movie review after we're done. And yeah, so we'll see you guys there. We're almost there right now. And we're a little bit late because we're already 10 o'clock. But hopefully we'll meet up. So yeah, see you guys inside. Eva, turn and show us your outfit. Wow. Turn. Turn, let me see. Wow. Wow. <laughs> Why is it like that? Don't, don't do, you will follow. Eva, stop. Give her one now, give her, give her, give her, just give her, give her the smaller one. There you go. Let's go. Okay guys, so we are back now from seeing the movie. The movie was really interesting and I just want to share a few thoughts about it. <laughs> are you excited? Okay, so first of all, Cora is now a big girl, right? Cora did not, she didn't, she didn't go and pee, she was quiet, she watched the movie, she laughed a lot. You were laughing in the cinema, right? So she laughed a lot and she really enjoyed the movie. I was so excited for her because the last time me and her went to the cinema, she went to pee like 100 times. <laughs> but this one, she didn't even go and pee. She ate her popcorn, took her drink and watched the movie like a big girl. So we're going to be seeing more movies, okay? Okay. Yeah, so if any of you have not seen the movie, you guys should try and go and see it. And if you have older kids or, you know, young kids who can tolerate the cinema, I think you should go and see it with them. It's very interesting. Um, Disney... Disney they try Sha, so that was not even a problem whether the animation was great. I feel like the animation for this one was that's the graphics or whatever. I feel like the one for this one was better than the last one. Their animation was just flawless, it was very beautiful, the story was very interesting. And one thing about I like about Frozen is the fact that the heroes are the sisters. You know, the heroes are it's not just one person, it's not just um one guy or one girl, it's the sisters 
together make a very good team and um yeah so that's part of why i took cora there to go and see to know that you and your sister are supposed to be a good team right you love your sister so you and your sister will always have fun right why are you so quiet now are you sleeping okay so while i was watching the movie it really got me thinking about sisterhood you know um some of us have sisters some of us grew up with sisters and i can't change it for the world like like i keep saying one of the things i love about having two girls is because i mean cora has a sister eva has a sister so because they have they both have each other i feel like it's very my sister is like my best friend even though we are not even though we don't talk all the time you know we don't see all the time because she lives in lagos i live in portacourt but anytime we see anytime we talk we both know that we love each other we both know that we are there for each other no matter what you know and that's what's great about having a sister it's not even just about having a blood sister it's about having someone you call a sister it can be a friend it can be a cousin it can be a relative the concept of sisterhood is very 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 important for every woman out there because no matter how sometimes i, I hear a lot of women saying things like they get along better with men they get along better with men yeah you may get along better with men but only a woman can understand you totally only a woman can really really understand you only a sister only a female friend can really really understand your struggles sometimes um guys no matter how they love you and how they want to be there for you sometimes guys cannot just be late they they just they just they just don't get it and it's not their fault that they don't get it because they are wired differently they sit in differently they have a different experience from us as women so yeah if you're watching this video and you have a woman in your life that you love so much uh remember to call her remember to always be there for her any woman in your life who is there for you like a sister just be grateful to god that you have such a person in your life reach out to them get them gifts be there for each other because sometimes the things that we're going through in, on this earth, i was i was um i was reading something about the statistics that uber has gotten on rape cases sexual assault cases and all that and i was like men will not get it when we when we do some things that we do so sometimes i try to play devil's advocate and you know to tell women that see men are not the evil in this world sometimes two women are the evil in this world sometimes we have to look inwards too and really um understand where we two are falling short as much as i try to do that sometimes i'm still all for women i'm still all for protecting each other and still all for being there for one another simply because men men will not understand what we have to go through as women just existing on this earth like as many so many struggles so many so many struggles that only a fellow sister can understand okay so there's this group on facebook finn or so yeah there's so many groups that are like finn finn is females before it was females in nigeria but now it's female in so that group is a group that i know that sisterhood is really really strong there well sometimes to an extent sometimes they go overboard with being yes friends like anything someone comes and says you must agree with the person you know you don't want to bash any i don't i don't believe in bashing people right but i also don't believe in cheering people on when they are being stupid or when they are doing the wrong thing you don't have to you can actually keep quiet or Waka pass, but you don't have to always cheer people on when you're doing the wrong things, okay? But that's by the way. So, what I love about that group more is that I think it's awoke in so many women the consciousness that your fellow Cora <laughs> looks bored. If you want to go, <laughs> anyway, I think it awoke in so many women the consciousness that your your fellow woman is your sister. You know, she's your sister. She's not just anything that happens to any woman out there is happening to you okay it might not happen to you physically but it, it affects our existence in one way or the other we are all connected in one way or the other okay so a win for a woman is a win for all of us a loss for a woman is a loss for all of us so yeah that's what i love about that group and groups like that are beginning to awaken us the consciousness that we need to band together we need to be there for each other we need to really see ourselves okay you need to really see ourselves not just see a fellow woman as a competition because i know that many of us have been 
socialized or have been raised to see our fellow women as competition um a lot of people, a lot of women are very very competitive and their own competition self is even negative competition but yeah a lot of us have have been raised to see ourselves as competition a lot of women have also been raised with the mindset that men are scarce so when you see your fellow women that is looking good that is doing well you are seeing her like she's competing for your space i don't know how to explain it for your space with men for your space with jobs for your space with um um your space in the society i don't know i don't know how to really explain what i'm trying to say but all i'm saying is that a lot of women by default see other women as competition like if she's doing well then it means that i will not do well again or what or that if somebody is making progress it, it, it somehow affects your own progress it doesn't even make sense but a lot of women see things that way and trust me it is not like that okay men are not scarce <laughs> Okay, men are not scarce. You don't have to compete with your fellow woman, fellow woman for men. You don't have to compete with your fellow woman for jobs. Yes, let me, me the best woman win. I keep saying it. May the best person, not even just woman, may the best person for the job, for the position, for the anything. Sorry, I hope you guys can hear me clearly because my window is actually open. So yeah, may the best person for the job, for the position, for whatever I win. You know, yeah. So in a matter, I want the best person to win. You don't have to see your fellow woman as the person that is hindering your success, okay? So, all I just said to say, I, I didn't plan to have, I didn't plan this long talk, but yeah, it just came out, so let me just continue. All I am trying to say is that sisterhood is really, really important. Every girl needs a sister okay shout out to all my sisters out there i love you guys i appreciate you all like oninye oninye is my blood sister i've had her on this channel before yeah so oninye like ego like nancy like chinelo like kelechi like chinenye like miss erica Efe. miss Efe. <laughs> Like Miss Efe, Miss Efe is her teacher. Uh, Miss Judith, Miss Judith was her former teacher. One day we're going to see Miss Judith. Do you miss Miss Judith? Yes. So one day we're going to see Miss Judith. So Miss Judith, yeah. So there are so many of them. So many people I regard as sisters. Uh, if I don't call your name, <laughs> my brain has got gone blank now. Even those people who help us to raise our kids, to take care of our homes, to be there, to step in for us when we're not there, like our helps, like our assistants, our our cleaners and nannies and everybody, those, although my person is a female, the person is also your sister. So like I said in one of my videos, a lot of women are the ones who actually deal with their helps, who deal with their uh, co-workers, who deal with their nannies. A lot of women are the ones, not, not even the men. Sometimes the men don't even know what's going on in their homes. The men are outside chasing other things, but the women are told dealing with the women that are living with them, okay? So yeah, um, if you're that kind of person that is in the habit of dealing with your help or, you know, just stop it, okay? Instead, send the person home. If you if, if you hate the person so much, send the person home. Don't be a user. Some people are users, yes. Some people are users. They only, they only remember you when they need something for you from you, okay? They only get close to you to get what they can get from you so if, I don't, don't be a, if you're a user don't be a user it's not good okay or yeah and to an extent self this one i'm saying don't be a user sometimes to an extent we all use each other to an extent but if you're using somebody you to allow yourself to be used now people that will, will never allow themselves to be used but they will always be using people so yes we are all using ourselves but as you are using other people allow yourself to to be used mm? you, you will not die if you don't you will not die if you if you do good for other people okay so yeah, that's enough for this my mini <laughs> i don't even know what i'll call i just did that um let me go and prepare dinner and i'll see you guys later okay so guys um i'm in my kitchen right now i just finished filming my kitchen makeover makeover on the budget um you guys should go and check the video out if you've not already checked it out or if you've not checked it out um go and check the video out it should be up by now i hope anyway so yeah i really like how my kitchen turned out my husband really helped me a lot like i'm so grateful for the kind of husband that i have because he really helped me a whole lot and yeah, maybe i'll start spending more time in this kitchen because i've hated this kitchen for so long <laughs> like since the day we moved into this kitchen i just wanted us to tear everything down and just rebuild something to our face but as money no come day now we will not come and kill ourselves and i have to like my kitchen so for me the kitchen is like 
one of the most important parts of a house for me like i love how i love the shape of the kitchen but when it comes to the furniture that it came with mm -mm. i remember when i first <laughs> i remember when i first stepped into this kitchen i was like what in the canaio canaio is going on here like everywhere was red black burnt orange brick brick wallpaper i was like what in the old way go is going on here <laughs> Hi baby, somebody's awake. Oh, my baby is crying. <laughs> Why were you crying? What happened? Hmm? What happened? You're hungry. Mm -hmm. So like I was saying, when I entered this kitchen for the first time, I was like, what in the old way go is going on here? But yeah, right now I love how it looks. It looks way, 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 way better. So say hi guys. Did you enjoy the movie? This one was just dance, jumping up and down in the cinema. Eating popcorn here, yeah. drinking this one's drink. What? Huh? What? You want to see them? After now, after they finish eating, we'll go and see Chinelo. You guys know that you guys know her, Nelo KK. She gave birth last week Sunday. It's already a week. Wow. So she gave birth last week Sunday. So we'll go and see her now. I just want my kids to eat first so that when we reach there, nobody will annoy me. I don't want anybody to annoy me. So let them eat very well. And drink enough water. Thank you. Thank you. Eva, are you excited? No. Yeah, say yes. <laughs> Everything is no with you. We are going to see Adana. Say Adana. 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 We are going to see Adana. You want to see Auntie? No. Want to see Auntie? No. You want to see Auntie? No. Auntie, are you watching? Eva says she doesn't want to see you. You want to see Kaito? Uh uh. You want to see Kobe? Yeah. You want to see Daddy? Yeah. You want to see Amarachi? Yeah. You want to eat? Are you hungry? Okay now.